are weathering a storm right now. But you don't have to weather it alone. The Lord Jesus Christ is here for you today, tomorrow, and forever. All you need to do is seek Him out. We hope we can help you find your way home if that's where you are today. But as we weather this storm of uncertainty related to the coronavirus, the COVID-19, and as it spreads across uh, our nation here in the USA uh, and uh, overtakes some of our biggest cities, uh, New York City is uh, being crippled right now by this virus, as are other cities. Uh, the state of North Carolina was just issued a, a declaration of emergency by the White House. Uh, and that is happening in other states across the United States, as, as well as uh, presidents and leaders of other countries around the world taking similar actions. But I want to come back again to weathering the storm. You know, I want to read a Bible verse to you. Mark 4, 37 through 39 says, Suddenly a windstorm struck the lake. Waves started splashing into the boat, and it was about to sink. Jesus was in the back of the boat with his head on a pillow, and he was asleep. His disciples woke him and said, Teacher, don't you care that we're about to drown? Jesus got up and ordered the wind and the waves to be quiet. The wind stopped, and everything was calm. Now the same thing is going to happen with this coronavirus epidemic or pandemic. Uh, it's going to come to pass. All right. The path that it's going to take is, is probably already preset and predetermined by God. We have to weather the storm, but we also have to trust that Jesus Christ will calm this storm in his own time. All right, so as I mentioned in uh, my video yesterday about turning it over to the Lord, uh, we need to do that. We need to give up our fears and our anxieties and our worries to the Lord. We need to trust that the Lord will protect us, guide us, and lead us down the path of our own personal journey. So my prayer for you today is that you can find the calm in this storm and trust that Jesus Christ will cease the storm in the waves, return the shores to calm, and that we as a nation and as a people around the world will continue to do the same great things we've always done. But let's do them in the name of Jesus Christ. And let's help those who are less fortunate than us. If you're uh, one of the many hoarders, and I'm among them, with a stockpile of toilet paper, water, and other necessities, uh, please make sure you make those things available to those uh, who are less fortunate around you. Not everyone was able to get out and get supplies. Uh, there are elderly amongst us who simply did not have the means to get out, and plus they were extremely at risk of contracting the virus if they did. So we need to provide for those people, pro provide for those in need. That's exactly what Jesus would have us do. That is what Jesus did as he walked the earth as a flesh human. He provided to the least among us. He set the example, and now we must carry it out. We must do these things in Jesus' precious name. Amen.